Hello everybody, good day to you all today. I am talking about the X-Men Dark Phoenix trailer. Uh, this movie can be directed by Simon Kinberg and the actors starring in it are um, Sophia Turner, um, Ty Sheridan, James um, McAvoy, Jennifer Lawrence, Nicholas Holt, um, Evan Peters, Katie Smith McPhee, Alexander Shipp, um, Michael Fassbender, and Jessica Chastain. Now, before I get into anything, I didn't think this movie, I didn't think this movie, this movie was going to come out. I thought it was scratch. Push to the side. We're never going to see it. I mean, since the time that Marvel has Marvel slash Disney has the Fox has Fox has the rights to all the X Men now, I thought, I thought they're going to scrap this movie, do their own thing, come up with their own um, X Men universe, and combine it with with the Marvel universe, and then that's going to be that. But this movie coming out anyway. Said, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And now I'm watching the trailer, and it's, and it's, it's not really following the comic books at all. And, but there are two um, versions of this whole Phoenix, Dark Phoenix saga. I mean, you got the whole thing with the regular universe, with the um, with um, Jean going into space. She saves everybody, and then, and then the Dark Phoenix energy combines with her, and she goes through a coma in the bottom of the sea, and she comes back, and, and then she's she manipulated by one of the. I forgot what the, um, the guy's name from the Hellfire Club, and next thing you know, she, she fights that, and she gets dark, and she sacrifices herself at the end, and she dies. And then the, and then the ultimate version where Professor Xavier. Suppress the memory inside of her to keep her to keep her from going insane, and that but that caused her to get a split personality, which is the which is the Phoenix, and the Hellfire Club worshipped the Phoenix, and so when her powers emerged, they pretty much worshipped her like, like she was a type of god or something like that. Either way, on both versions, the Hellfire Club was involved. Now I don't know the Hellfire Hellfire Club is gonna be involved in this movie right here, but at the same time, the trailer does seem like, like it's gonna be epic, but also very intimate at the same time too. Because it's not like some outside force coming in to take, they try to attack the X Men. Some aliens come from outer space, or anything like that. No, it's Jean, and it seems like the, it seems like Professor Xavier put some mental blocks in her head a long time ago, so she could deal with certain things in her life. But now those mental blocks are breaking, and it's causing her to get angry, frustrated, and her and her, her power to emerge in a way that she cannot control, making her too well the the Dark Phoenix. I guess that's what they're going right in this movie right here. And I have to say, the trailer does look good. It does look very interesting. The music, the music choices they chose was fantastic because it gets you like excited and pumped up for this. But um, and visually, it looks amazing. I mean, there are certain things I don't like about this trailer. I mean, you got Jennifer um, Lawrence. Even though I think she's an amazing actor, she still is not really wearing the... She's still not going to be Mystique all the way through the whole entire movie, which, which I don't like. I'm still not a huge fan of Mystique being on the good side because she actually is a bad guy. So... Seeing her, seeing her work with the, with the X Men, it's kind of weird to me. I mean, I mean, I mean, there were there's the, there's the issue in, in the Mystique comic book where she did work for Professor Xavier, and she had um she sort of sort of like a spy for him, doing like a lot of dirty stuff for him. And no, that was Professor Xavier was a Cyclops. I can't remember now because Forge made her made her tools and stuff like that too. So he, was, he was like he was like her Carol Q, but that didn't that issue didn't last long. But most of the time, she's the bad guy. But she does have, she is, she is connected to the X Men because she's the mother of um, of Nightcrawler and the foster mother of of of, of, of um, Rogue, and in a way, forcing that makes um, psych, um Rogue and and um Nightcrawler brother and sister, and so that that connects them to them. But and and she also had connections to Wolverine too in the past. But but she's always been like the outsider, the bad guy. She never, even when she worked with the X Men or do something for the X Men, it's all for her own agenda to get something from them or screw them over some type of way. You never really trust Mystique. But seeing her work for the X Men as the X Men, it just always seems kind of weird. And also seeing Jennifer Lawrence just not being blue. I mean, they do show her as Mystique in her full glory, but at the same time, at other times she's mostly like herself. So that's kind of weird. And you also got the same thing going on with the same, same thing with um, Nicholas Holt, who plays Hank Pym. He still he still does the whole back and forth situation type of thing. He's not beast for all the time through it either. I don't like that much too either either. But eh, it is what it is. But other than that, the trailer does look good. It does look kind of interesting. Is it like mind blowing, blowing me away? Not really, because I, I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant to like it. Like I want to like it. I want to enjoy this. But I have been burnt so many times in the past with the X Men movies. I mean, some of them are pretty good. And some of them suck really hard. So you never know what you're going to get with these movies. You never know what you're going to get. I mean, you could go in here and get an X-Men First Class or get 
as per last stand. You don't you just you just you just don't know. You don't know where you're gonna fall. So does the trailer look good? Yes. Does it got me it made me curious? Of course. Am I gonna see it in the theaters? Yes I am. But it's, but is this, does it make the movie gonna be great as a whole? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. But I'm just I'm just I'm just too curious to pass on it, so I'm gonna go see this. But I'm a, I'm a finger across the whole time. The trailer didn't quite sell me because I'm, I'm going by what what happens in the past of previous stuff. So, but like I said, I am interested. At acting the acting on the performances that I've seen here did not look bad, and the take that they're taking is very interesting, because Professor Xavier, as much as he says he doesn't like to get in people people mouth people mouth without their permission, he does it all the time. He's a hypocrite. He's not really a. He, I mean, he has good intentions, but he does things completely butt wrong a lot of times. He's a jerk. I mean, I mean, he he he, he manipulates them in ways that he feels as though he is helping them. I mean, he did it to Scott when he made Scott forget he had a brother, so he so he went full of pain of losing a brother in space. Which is really messed up. And so when the father, when brother, father, when Scott found out about that, it, it made him turn, made him turn against him. And he even did the gene. I mean, it, it did help her when she was a child because her friend gets killed in a car accident. I think is what it was. And when she was like, she kind of mind melded with her, and and she was like experiencing her death with her, in her mind. And so that kind of maybe maybe a little bit not. So she kind of he made her kind of forget that, which did help her out some. But at the same time, he like, he like. He says he doesn't do these things, but at the same time he does. Because he feels as though it's going to help them get better. But, but in the end, it always ends up hurt, turning, they're turning against them. And he doesn't learn. So messed up. But overall, like I said, the trailer does look interesting. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm in, but I'm going in hesitant. I'm a little nervous. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this trailer of X-Men Dark Phoenix. Did it get you excited? Did you pumped up? Did it make you forget about the past movies? Did it make you say, I'm just going to go in full force? Or are you going are you going to go in as a little bit hesitant because other movies have not been all that good? I mean, like I said, the movies, some movies have been great. And other movies have just been... Uh, like, like, they had no, no in-between. Like this, I love this movie or you hate it. That's just, wow. And this, 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 this one could go either way. Either way. So pretty much all I got to say about that. To get my channel, if you go like, hit the thumbs up, share, boom, and subscribe to my channel, and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.